Hey, 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 truck travels and truck traffics. Yeah, your boy Big Cook back, man. Feel like a long hiatus for me, man. I know it don't feel as long for you guys because y'all just see continuously videos, but it is some big gaps. Big, big gaps in these videos. Uh, without me getting loads and running, man, it's, yeah. I don't know where this truck industry is right now, but you know, we ain't gonna keep crying about it. Got to take the good with the bad, man. So, um, yeah, I just had to just feel like I've been on, on a long break, just come off a long break. Of course, I had a birthday week, birthday weekend. Then we just had a whole 4th of July weekend, <clears throat> which we've been up at the late plan. I'm gonna try to get some of them videos up in here. Um, somebody did give me um, a comment and told me to start updating more on um, <clears throat> late videos, the activity that we have going on up at the lake for the jet skis and the yachts and the parties and start incorporating, incorporating that more in here as well. So, as y'all can see, I'm back on the road again. Um, man, the truck industry plays so many games, man. I understand business is business. Uh, the brokers got to make money, but me, I honestly think the industry, industry should go like just like the factoring company, you know what percentage they taking out, two, three, five percent of factoring loads. Um, if you got a um a dispatcher, you know he want five, eight, ten percent, whatever they get. I think the the brokers we need to have a, a a cap, a range of percentages that um that they get, cause we you never know. You know, I try to get a load going to what is Greensboro, North Carolina, maybe a four hundred and 460 mile load gang I tried to get um and it's not I don't think it's my particular broker man shout out to you man we've been rocking since day one he kind of try to be fair but he can only do so much so he, he kind of be um he kind of be transparent kind of be up front with me what's going on so you know uh, going to Greensboro North Carolina it's not it's kind of like a dead zone ain't too much going on you gonna have to dead head somewhere lately we've been dead head and all the way back home so um the load particularly he said the last time the load went for 11 but hey we finna shoot for 12 did we tell me you know i would have took it at 11 but let's shoot for 12. somebody came in and took it at a thousand it would have went for 11 y'all follow me now somebody came and took it at a thousand but the person that did take it at a thousand they hit me back say that person jumped off the load i'm like shit, okay shit, can we get it at 12. get them on the line he was like <laughs> they trying to stay at the thousand mile mark because that other dude took it for the thousand. Mind you, it's you know 460, which not bad. It was a light load, but we're going in the dead area. But it's just showing that it's room to make more. But if we keep coming in the game low balling and taking these freights for, for low and low and low, they gonna stick with that number, y'all. We gotta start doing that. So um I bypassed on that. I didn't want to go those many miles in the dead in the dead area for roughly two dollars a mile so let me tell you i just did snag a load some more ac units going to jacksonville uh, it's going to jacksonville let me do the numbers on this y'all again 425 a mile the other loads going to be like $2 a mile. Same commodity load, same HVAC units. So I'm getting $4.25 a mile, man. So it is what it is, gang. Okay? We're going to keep rocking, man, and until the wheels fall off. If the wheels still be on. <laughs> when we didn't fell off and the wheels still be rolling, it is what it is, man. So, of course, you guys know um, at the end of my um, insurance policy, uh, before I renew, I'm going to make a decision on freezing my insurance for a minute so I can decide on going to the, um, crossing over to the car, the car part of the industry. Um, so I'm going to go get my CDLs, and I hope it only do take me. Um, when I talk to them, I, it's, it's a four-week situation, but I think they take a week off in between, so we're going to say five weeks. <clears throat> so... That's what we got going on, man. We're trying to hold in the road. Y'all see what's going on, man. We out here, man. We trying to get it. We got bills to pay. 
babies to take care of. So um, y'all finna head on down here to McDonald, Georgia to pick up this load going to Jacksonville, Florida, gang. So y'all hold tight. I'll show y'all once I get it loaded up, show y'all what it is, man. And y'all keep on liking, coming, and subscribing, man. Let's All right, go. gang, we here, gang, we here, we here. So um, that's something over there getting it off. So we're gonna be three of those pallets, maybe like, I think 20 something. 20 some hundred pounds, maybe I think you say the paperwork say 2200 pounds. But um, uh, y'all notice I didn't say good morning, good morning, truck trappers and truck trap it because it's late afternoon. Um, I kind of locked in on this load, maybe 2 30 ish o'clock. They wanted me to be down here to pick it up at by five, and by the time I got my confirmation rate, and um, uh, I didn't even get to put that uh, address in yet. They was calling trying to see with my ETA. I'm like, hey, y'all ain't let it be, bro. I'm sorry, excuse me, Y'all ain't let me figure out what I'm trying to, my brain ain't processed. I ain't, didn't, didn't even get a chance to put the address in, but um, yeah, we about to get that thing loaded, man. Y'all see it over there. Make sure I can strap it right. Y'all hold tight. Let me see how I'm gonna get the position. I get right back. All right, here we go, gang. Three skids, kind of on the taller side. They just, he say they did try to get a box truck to get it, I guess they didn't give the height, the dimensions of it to the box truck, whoever was in the box truck, but it was too tall. So he had to get a hot shot on it. So we did contact the receivers. Um, the guy said he should be expecting me at eight in the morning. You know, I kind of want to do like seven-ish. I like to get in early, get it over with. So y'all know what it is. We got a strap pretty tight. He said it's okay for me to crank down on it. I did take, the excess paperwork off, uh, he kind of, well, he threw it away. So it wouldn't be blowing off, so we good to go, man. Pretty cool fella, man. He said this is the first time they actually got a load, one of their loads loaded on a hot shot. Um, they normally do box trucks, but unfortunately, to the fella that, well, hope he got a truck order not used coming down here, not able to get it, but, you know, we'd rather have to work than a truck order not used. We'd rather have to work any day, baby. But uh, here we go, man. Leash key rocking. You know she need an oil chain and she need a bath. So we out of here, man. Finna go fuel up. And I'll catch y'all on the drop in the morning. Let's get it. Good morning, gang. Show y'all what we got going. They're getting the last one off. Of course, y'all can see how those saran wrap bust open. Cardboard everywhere with those particular high loads that they wrap before they ship out. So I did have to pull over like three or four times, gang, to, um, to get that excess wrapping in the cardboard and stuff, man. It, it was blowing everywhere and hanging off, so I had to go on and, and put it off there. So we here. Um, they got the first two pieces off. You see, of course, you see getting the last one off. And the guys said they thought I was bringing breakfast. Hell, I thought they were gonna have breakfast ready for me, especially because I was on time. So, oh, uh, let's see, where's this? All right, I'm gonna get with y'all in a minute, gang, man. Let me go on and get this load factor, man. It's so muggy down here this morning, eight in the morning in Jacksonville. It is, the humidity is insane. So let me get right, man, and get this last load, get that paperwork signed, man, and we gonna make it do what it do, man. Let's gang, get it. Gang, gang, got that thing dragging. Get what we got going, y'all. I forgot to tap in with y'all, let y'all know the next move I had, man. I was coming out of Jacksonville. Uh, got a call to pick up this load. Of course, y'all see where I'm at. And I be picking up this um at this particular facility, them, them long floors he got on the other end. These long floors, right? Flooring right there. Going up to Rydell. This is my Atlanta to Rydell load, man. Uh so I just came on back to Georgia grabbing this. It actually picks up tomorrow. I've been calling, calling, calling these folks trying to see can I pick it up today. I just took matters in my own hand and pulled up to pray. Pray that they'll let me get it a day early and I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it off two days early. Huh? What's that? What? 
Oh yeah, no, nah, these don't come. They, they, they just go right on there. Yeah. What he talking about, man? I pick these up all the time. Play by. Better get your measurement together, man. Let me get this spring scrub down. I'll let y'all in a second, man. Here we go, here we go, gang. And just like that, man. Locked and loaded, man. A little snack. 1,100 pounds. Going up to Rydell in the morning. I'm a day early picking this up and two days early for Rydell. Y'all see what's going on. These boys are working, man. Yes, sir. So no excuses, y'all. Y'all see what's going on. Ain't no excuses, man. Me and the Ranger, man. Getting the job done, picking up some material, man. Taking it somewhere, so I ain't no excuses, man. We working, rain, sleet, snow, heat, humidity, everything else. We working. If it work to get, I'm mad it don't be no work. A lot of people happy, they happy it ain't no work. Cause they don't wanna work. I'm mad when it ain't no work, man. Can't get no bankroll without no work. Y'all see what's going on. They finna, they finna make it do what it do though. Let me go up front, y'all. I gotta go up front and get my paperwork. I can head on out and get me some red, man. Thought I had a little red last night. But I felt kind of sluggish coming up the road, man. The coffee didn't work for me today. But I'm gonna holler at y'all in the morning, man. When I get to right there, man, y'all hold tight. We truck trapping, baby. Oh, oh man, gang. Oh man, check this out, gang. Let me stop playing with y'all, man. Everything good. Let me show you how God work, man. I went in there to get their paperwork for this load, which you know the radar already pretty decent, uh, considering where I'm going in Georgia to Georgia. And I got up here to be able to pick it up. So <laughs> shout out to my broker, man. He be knowing when I be frustrated with the trucking business. Shout out to you. I ain't gonna tell y'all who my broke is. Y'all go to looking for my mans and want the same, same favors. I work hard for all the time. Y'all just wanna jump in and get them. No, sir, not gonna do it, but shout out to him, man. Um, I went in there to get my, um, my BOL, uh, everything signed. I come back to the truck and check my email. Boom, got another load right here where I'm at. So of course, Y'all see I'm back and back. I'm in reverse, back to the same spot for double the pay, man. Going to the, it's going to the same, they going to the same, same um, drop off. So <laughs> this one is a day early on pickup, two days early on drop. This one I'm picking up now, I'm two days early on pickup and I'm three days early on the drop. One thing I know about right there, you pull up the right there, they gonna take it off your back. So long as they had it ready here, they said they found the paperwork, just bag back up to where I just was, and they're gonna load it up, man. So I got a two for one, and I'm happy about that, man. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. So I'm just backing up. They got a lot of trucks going, so I'm taking my time. Y'all know I'm a professional driver. Probably one of the best drivers y'all to see. Real spin. But uh, let me see what side I'm gonna have to get on. He got his whole truck out back up. But yeah, let me get this other one loaded. Um, this other freight is more bundles than the one I just had. So I'm not mad. Um, we're gonna get it up here. We're gonna get it strapped down, get everything locked and loaded, man. Y'all hold tight. A two for one, man. Bun these wheels up this summer, man. Let's get it. Come on, a little more. Cool, that, that'll work. All right, this is a small bonus. He said this is it, man. So I went in there major. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this is it. So we're gonna load that up, push the, push the rest of it over, try to center it. We're gonna go from now. Got him, got him with the center of it. Sir. Alright, so um yeah, we're gonna try to get this thing centered, man. So I can strap it on down. It look like it wanted to start raining. Get this thing strapped, man, and head to the house, man. Get me something to eat and get some red, man. So y'all hold tight, man. Let me make sure everything accounted for. 
on this paperwork because it looked less than what the paperwork say. So I got to triple check, make sure all my ducks in a row, gang. And two for one, man, I got to make it work. I don't want to have to come all the way back. So y'all hold tight, man. Let's right, gang, here we go, here we go, gang. That little added additional bonus I just picked up. He say that's all. That's it. So my paperwork do a look a little different, like it was gonna be actually more bundles. So I'm about to go back to the front and get my paperwork and make sure it matches my confirmation rate, man. So uh, yeah, let me go do that game, make sure it match my confirmation rate. Y'all hold tight. Alright, yeah. gang, y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the sky fell. The sky just fell, man. Like I'm talking about real bad rain. So yeah, of course we just had a little delay, man. Uh, like I always tell y'all, everything I come across or every obstacle, every hurdle, I got the shit. I know I've said it before, but I want to continue to remind someone every time I run into it. So uh, the new paperwork I got, the second load, let me see. Yeah, the new paperwork I got, gang, um, the actual, the actual, um, the actual BOL, the confirmation rate, actually, looked at like more pieces than, the, than he actually put on there. Um, so when I went in to get ready to sign and get the new um, BOL, it was to, you got to check your numbers, man. You got to check your load numbers. It was the same exact load number as the, the first load he loaded on here first. So I was like, no, nah, this ain't it. So we went back and forth. He kept saying, yeah, that. I'm like, no, I just picked that up. I got the same paperwork in my truck. So um, they, they went back and they filed to realize it was the same paperwork. So uh, the problem came in was that the guy that, that pulls all the BOLs up, the paperwork for me to sign he sent the wrong one and they didn't have the one the actual one sent over to them yet um i knew they weren't gonna have the one actually sent over yet because i'm like like i say this load was scheduled to pick up i think on the 11th and it's the 9th so i'm two days early um so the load that they did put on here was the actual load so they didn't have to add anything take anything they did have the load ready but the paperwork wasn't sent over yet so you gotta check your load number man always check your load number man um i got crisscrossed up like that one time um in the beginning not checking my load numbers a lot of times um check your count too check your pieces you know what i'm saying so like still right now still don't look like the amount of pieces that i see on the paperwork so i asked them to go over it make it make sense make it make sense so they got two bundles and two of those small pieces so that equaled up to like four bundles you know to break it down but it still looked kind of on the light end from what my paperwork say so i, I continuously asked them is that the right it's the right load so of course so it's on them now gang I can't make them add then. I can't make no another freight be with this freight. As long as I got my BOL, right confirmation number, triple check with them, and I'm headed out, man. So I just got two bird with one stone, man, and we good to go, man. That rain came down pretty good. Glad I had that thing locked and loaded, man. So I'm about to head to the house now, man. Grab me something to eat, shower. I was gonna hit the gym. I need to get in now, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it today. It's too late in the afternoon. So I'm going to get up early and get this load off and get back home, get situated, then hit the gym tomorrow, hit it pretty hard. So y'all hold tight, man. We truck trapping, baby. Yeah, yeah, good morning. Y'all see where I'm at, man. At my spin out. At the spin out, man. Get a little, little petrol, man. Yeah. Let me how it going out there. Cat in the van, man. I told him it hard, man. But we trying to make it be fair. Say likewise, same to him. The rate's been terrible. I'm up, man. Y'all know I'm headed to uh, Rydell to drop this load off from yesterday. Slept so good, I ain't even want to get up this morning, game. But um, thank God I got me a coffee maker, man. I got a Curex, man. So I don't have to worry about can I squeeze on a McDonald's for my coffee to get my to get my fix in the morning. So I got that going already. Well, I didn't kill it already. <laughs> I got a little energy. So I'm finna get a little gas, a little, little fuel, man, to head on up here. I hope they be able to unload me and don't have a line of guys getting boxes up there where I'm sitting for three, four hours. Like they can go on and scoop me and let me head on back. That'll be it'll be a great day for me, man. So 
Y'all hold tight, man. I'll holler at y'all when I get there, man. Let's get it. A few moments later. Hey, gang. I'm up here, gang. This is what's going on. Just got everything in that strap. Uh, he just got finished with that truck right low in that one. So I have no hot shots in front of me today. So it shouldn't be long before they get me right now. Uh, so when I come out here to ride there, there's two separate companies. There's another company on the end. Every time I come, the guy come high let me. We just chop it up. And you know, he, he always asked me about the bin. Oh, don't bust your hand now, guy. You know what? He tripped over some. Hard hat came off. <coughs> but um, he asked me about the bin and asked me what the problem is. And you know, with, with the, the um the state that trucking is in. And I, you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I, I be real. Let them know. Um, the problem is, the, the, it's the middleman. It's not the, it's not the shippers. It's not the receivers. It's not the driver. The problem come in to oh no. The problem come in where the middleman is eating more than everybody. Like it, it shouldn't go like that, man. So like I always say, um, just the well is dispatching get a percentage i think it should go like that for brokers brokers yes sir uh-huh so let me turn and turn around yeah just pull up, yeah right up here okay all right yeah um yeah so i think it should be set up to where a point where the driver's um we we seeing and we knowing actually what the load is going for piece of wood in the street had to get some out of the street and uh well you know the brokers is getting a percentage you know big ass block in the middle of the street and we can and, and everybody can eat man you know if the brokers making more than the okay okay i got you yeah the brokers making more than than <laughs> Than the actual drivers, which we got, we the one doing the work. We the one got to pay all the high insurance. We the one got to get these trucks fixed when they break down. We the one got to put all the maintenance, do all the maintenance to the truck. All the all changes high. Shit, you need them all change every two months, depending on. I mean, two, twice a month every time. You go in and come back out, but about time for all change seems like so. We got to pay for that shit, man. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the, okay. Got me right. So yeah, I got two separate loads here, two separate paperwork. Um, yeah, that's just my spiel this morning. That's how the trucking, the trucking industry go like that, man. Okay, we understand the broker got you know the broker doing their job. They they didn't set up a, a business where they get contacted by the shippers and receivers and and they got their hand on thousands of trucks and these people know that if we go highlight a particular broker we're gonna get a truck because they got hands on it get y'all a percentage out of it not okay um the shipper we're gonna get a broker ten thousand dollars and the broker come make you run it for two thousand dollars like no man come on man no i'm just rough numbers gang so it is what it is man let me let the they finna get this thing yeah, they about to get ready to get me unloaded, man. Yeah, so they get them from both sides. I don't know if she might think that, yeah. Push me to the other side. Yeah, man, so he on the other side, Wayne. Yeah, I'm going to get this off, man. Going to get my load fat. Try to head on back down. Make it do what it do, man. The truck trapping. Baby, y'all keep liking, coming, and subscribing, man. And and your comment, you guys comment ain't just for me. Your comments and your input under my videos is also for the other people that's watching the videos. Because when I watch people videos or I'm on social media and I'm seeing some special pertaining learning and, and, and um, podcast type conversations, um, especially conversation stuff on YouTube, I go to the comments. I be wanting to read and, and hear other people input. You know, some people comment may may make more sense than the actual content creator you know so i i like to read the comments so 
the comments is not just for me gang and not just for me to reply back to y'all and sometimes i can't i forget or i be too busy work uh and it's nothing intentional so but your comment keep putting your comment keep coming man keep putting your comment down somebody else is reading your comment uh may want to know the same exact thing you want to know or may read your input that you're giving to me advice you're giving to me because i take advice on here as well so this is what they do gang they they doing two now they normally pick up with one and have that thing looking like a rainbow in the air man <laughs> so um i catch y'all on the next one man y'all be safe out there we truck trapping baby truck travels truck trap x what's going on man what's up out there truck world yeah, I just snagged the load yesterday, gang. Going to pick up now, man. I'm um, I'm going to pick up in Winder, Georgia. Going to Mount Airy, North Carolina. Uh, maybe about a five-hour ride. Kind of got like 243 a mile, 243 a mile out there. So ain't so bad. Light load, 1,500 pounds from steel sheets. Of course, I'm gonna show y'all once I get there, man. Trying to get my body back right, man. I came off a day of uh, basketball for some hours. Hit the lake. I'm gonna get y'all some of that lake, some of that lake action. Show y'all what's going on on the jet ski, man. And I flipped off my jet ski, man. They say it looked like somebody hit the ejecto button, man, and shot me in the air. Some some expect the gadget type stuff, man. I was in the air for a long time, but when I hit the water, I came up kicking. So it's all good. <clears throat> it is what it is, gang. I'm going to show y'all what's going on with this load, man. I'm trying to see what's, what's up in that area over there. I'm trying to see what's up with my back screen. Back screen folks still come on. Okay. Yeah, I've been I've been doing some little mods with the GoPro, man. Especially when I catch the late footage. Um, because I had it in the, the mode of when I talk to you guys for the YouTube channel. <clears throat> and it take up a lot of... Um, it kill a lot of battery, man. So um, I kind of know how to tweak it a little bit where I make the screen cut off for the GoPro where it could save some battery life long with the screen stay on. The screen stay on, the battery go dead fast. The batteries already ain't that, but I ordered, you know, I got quite a few batteries now though. So I'm gonna show y'all this, this this process of this load, man. I'm gonna uh, hoping to grab something else. I was trying to grab something to go with it, man. I'm hoping the, the loads get better. Um, as far as the amount of loads out here, it, it don't look like it's been many, gang. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all as soon as I get, get to this little load, it's a light load, once I grab it, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all and chop it up with y'all. I gotta fit this screen and keep going black on me. I can't see if I'm aimed the right way or not, so y'all hold tight, man. Gang, gang, just made it up the winder. And they're calling me in. Go in the dark tunnel, pick up this little snack, man. I'll show y'all what it is once I get it. Down before I get copyright. All right, gang. So I did, when I pulled in, I had to stop at the front booth, let them give me the right order to what I was getting. I had to come through here. So once they did load me, I ain't get the video of the, the loader, but he loaded it so fast. By the time I looked up, it was done. I thought it was actually more than this, but I did that one snack. So I gotta go back to the front, the front booth, get my paperwork, man. I'm gonna hit it on the North Carolina, man. Let's get it. All right, gang, here we go, man. I just touched down. See, taking that one little pedal off, man. So, yes, sir. Quick little snatch up. I think I slept pretty good up here, man, in Mount Airy, North Carolina, man. Looks a little gloomy this morning. Yeah, so I'm gonna go on the drop there, get my straps rolled up. Let me get this paperwork signed so we can get out of here, man. Yeah. All right, paperwork signed, gang. Got my straps rolled up, my two-inch strap put up. Yeah, the guy that just unloaded me said he had a guy to come this morning. Uh, with the same with the same type of pallets. I think he had quite a few of them though. He said one of them was hanging off. Said he noticed it was hanging off when he got loaded and he was headed up here. He said the fort little driver just left it like it was, so he made it, but one pallet was about to come all the way off the back of the back of his truck, man. So um 
like I was telling you guys in previous videos that I'm about to, you know, I'm about to revamp myself. I'm about to switch everything over, man. Uh, I'm going to enroll into CDL school so I could, I'm going to change up my equipment, man, and, and go with the, um, maybe the five car mini and start doing cars. Um, when I started out, General Freight was the way to go. Like, as you guys can see, that one small pallet, 1,400 pounds, paid 243 a mile. You will never get that for one vehicle, for one car. You'll never get that for one car. So um, that's, that's the upside to that. But the bad side is there's no work. I'm not looking for an easy pay. You know what I'm saying? I want to work on mine working, on mine doing my thing, strapping, um, whatever I need to do as um, far as, you know, with the cars. I'm not I'm not decking no smoke at all when it comes to making money. So um, it's just when I first got in here, man, General Freight, man, like 1,400 pound, one pallet, 250 three $3 a mile, man, a, a car. One car is not paying that. You'll never pay that. Like, I don't care if you're getting it from Copart, um, dealer auctions, somebody broke down somewhere, you'll never get that with one vehicle. So that's the upside to it. Um, of course, when I when I switch over to the um, the auto transport, um, it's going to be more gas. The, 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 the fuel is going to, I'm going to have maybe sometimes 15,000 pounds a vehicle on the back of the weight um so of course they're gonna they're gonna eat up gas more but hey man the pay will be more as long as i could get those many vehicles going one way three or more so long as i get three or more vehicles i'd be good so uh that's the update on the situation man i'm just riding this last these last couple of months of my insurance turns out um let me see okay i hate when I gotta tap that back screen, gang. There we go, so I can light it back up. I got it on uh, screen save a timeout. I got a timeout in one minute, so I couldn't see myself. I did that to try to save batteries when I was on the lake video, and so I show y'all a lot of that stuff too. But yeah, man, don't get stuck in one place, man. Don't get stuck and content with doing the same thing, especially if it's not working. Um, I done that before in life. I wasn't on the business side of the other game in the world. I was in, you know, street side. Um, I continued seeing everything was going down, down. I, I tried to hang in there until everything was gone. So pretty much game. Sometimes you got to go on a hurry up, revamp. Even if you got to, if you see something going backwards as far as job, jobs, anything, just go on and Try to find your next move. Find your next move until you be able to get to your next move. Don't sit back and wait sitting on your hands. When you're sitting on your hands, you can't do nothing. Sitting on your hands, you can't make no money. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep pushing, man. So, I'll let y'all know. I'm going to give y'all my journey of my, um, I'm giving y'all my journey of my, my CDLs, man, or the, of the CDL school and stuff from, from start to finish. And I, <laughs> And I'm hoping and praying that I start and finish one take, man. Just like I do the video. I don't do no editing, man. It's one take, man. What you see, what you get, what you hear is what you hear, man. So um trying to do this CDL class one take. I know I could drive like crazy. I know the answers ain't no rocket science answers, but I just know of me, just like a lot of people with testing, a lot of people don't test too good because I noticed with myself at after what when I when I become an became an adult and, and with testing, didn't understand in school, I know the answer. But for some reason my mind will play tricks on me like it's a trick question. Thinking every question is a fucking trick question. But, you know, I'm gonna just breeze through it, man. Um I wanna say I'm a pretty I'm a pretty bright fella, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't seen a task or obstacle I never achieved or accomplished when I when I put my mind to it. So it is what it is, man. I'm just waking up, man. Y'all got to excuse my face, man. I'm going to go get me some coffee. Um, I'm going to see what's next. Nine times out of ten, nothing next. Uh, and I'm going to head on back in, gang. Y'all hold tight with truck trapping, baby. Good morning, good morning, good morning, truck travels and truck trap bets. I'm up early this morning on another move, man. Uh, got a little short run today, man. Uh, I got to Atlanta, Georgia to um, Alpharetta, Georgia. 
um, approximately a 30, 40 mile run. Um, not too mad at it. So, um, on a regular job, that may be two, three days of work. Working all day, this little 30 minute run. So, I take the good with the bad, I take it. Work is work, short. Get the job done. So, um, it's 1,300 pounds. It's coming from some kind of automotive, something it says, um, my own confirmation rate says. So, we're gonna see exactly what it is once we get there, man. So, um, I'm gonna tap back in. Let me go on and get a little fuel. Gonna get there. Um, actually, pickup was just only 19 miles away from you know my starting point, so 19 miles did hit to pick it up. So, we're gonna go on and get this day over with pretty fast. Now, I'll tap back in, let y'all know what we got going, man. Y'all, all right, here we go, here we go, gang. Show y'all where I'm at, man. In the heart of Atlanta, Auburn Avenue, man. Y'all see what's going on. Yeah, I was born in Greater House, built right down the street. So we down on Harbin Avenue. I just picked up a little snack. Um, of course, man, we having some technical difficulties and they say the whole United States across the world with um, all the IT stuff is down, all the computer stuff is down, y'all. So um, I stopped at one fuel station. The whole gas station was shut down. So I don't even know if I got enough fuel to even make it to the drop the Alpharetta, man. So I did just talk to him. What'd you say, Bob, man? No, no, no. Man, I'm at, I'm at work and the computer's down, man. We Everybody's shooting bad today, man. I might, huh, I might got some chain, though. It's bad out here in the world today. You can have all that. A lot of quarters. Speak up, man. All right, you too, boss. Have a good one. I got you. Yeah, man, so uh, this is what we got, man. The gentleman, I appreciate you just loading me up. He say um, his wife is scheduled to go out of town today um, to the airport, his wife and his daughter. He say, of course, the airports are shut down. Like, I don't know what we're in. We're in the, we in the crisis, gang. So, uh, so if y'all remember this date when everything shut down, the whole world of computers. Um, I just got off the phone with my, with, my, um, with my OG PT, man. His wife is a surgeon. Say so she called home, said they can't even do surgeries at the hospital. The power was shut down last night at the hospital. They generator kicked on, man. It, it's, it's bad out here, gang. So uh, we're gonna try to see. We're gonna try to see. Can we um? Uh, can we find a fuel station, man? So we're gonna get that load drop, man, and head on back home. And we'll try it. We'll try it again another day, man. Hope everything get worked out, man. What we got, man? We truck trapping, baby, man. Downtown Nashville, man. Let's get it. All right, gang. I made it, man. So I got seven miles to empty, man. So I hope some of these. Fuel stations is open, man. So um to get me some fuel, man, with this IT software shutdown situation. So um yeah, there we go. Of course he's about to unload. So I'm gonna have to try to find some fuel, man. I got one shot at this thing, man. Y'all pray for me, man. So let me get the unloaded, get the paperwork signed, load factor, man. We out of here, man. Let's get it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, truck troubles. Truck trap it. What's going on, man? Hope everybody had a great weekend, man. I try to enjoy all my weekends. I think I risked it more than anything this weekend, <clears throat> over the weekend. But on Friday, um, I did snag a load. Me and my buddy snagged a load from the same pickup to the same drop off. Uh, me and Twan, a and Carrier, over there, man. Shout out to a and Carrier. Y'all, let's see once we link up up here um, at pickup. I did just talk to him. Um, he's already in route. So, um, yeah, we picking up from Rydell, Georgia, uh, taking a load down to Lakeland. So uh, we snagging them loads pretty much at the same time. So we're going to rock and roll all the way down to Florida together, man, back to back these things. So it is what it is, man. So I hope everybody's still trying to hang in there, man. You know, everybody battle, everybody don't have the same battle. Everybody battle is not the same. So. Uh, we still hanging in there, man. We're gonna try to make it do what it do. Uh, we still truck trapping, man. We're trying to make, we're trying to burn some brake pads up and burn some robot D tire, man. As much as we can. So I'll show y'all that pickup, man. Um, y'all know up in Rydell, it be hit and miss. Sometimes we can get up there and get straight loaded. And other times it be, we be sitting around, be having 
two, three trucks in front of us and it be taking like one truck by the hour type situation. But um, we're gonna pray for the bed, man, so we can get rolling here in the Florida, man, so we can get it, get shit down. Uh, shout out to Torn too, man. A and A Carry he turned me on to a fan, man, um, construction site fan situation made by D Walk. I'm gonna show y'all that once I get that thing set up, man. It's supposed to blow cool where we don't have to idle our trucks all night trying to, um, you know, stay cool with the AC because those numbers do be dropping gain on that, on that gas, on that fuel hand, man. So it be seem like we might burn $50, $60 in fuel idling overnight. Uh, we may as well just get a room, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're gonna see what that fan do. It's battery, battery powered. Um, you know, with the um, 20 volt max battery from Dewalt, so I got a couple of those as well. So we're gonna see what it do, man. I'll show y'all what's going on with that once we get up here, man. Y'all hold tight, we truck trapping, baby. Here we go, gang. Here we go, gang, man. I would have been made it to this facility, man. I got down the highway and realized I left one of my bags at home, man. So I turned back around, went way back home to come way back up here, but um. This is what we got going right here, man. Here go my flooring. This is what I'm picking up going to right there, man. She about to load me up. The best Fort Lift operator up here, <laughs> besides my man. <laughs> yeah, so we got that Antoine down there, A and A carrier. He taking the box. So it's just, it's just that. Okay. So we got Antoine down on the other end, A and A carrier. He picking up a box, so. Once I get loaded down here and get strapped, man, we're gonna go down and holler at Twan, see what he see what he talking about, man. Let y'all tap in and chop it up with him for a minute. Y'all hold tight. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. And I'm sweating, Jack. I wanna know why I'm sweating. I thought it was gonna be a strap and go, but man, I had to throw the tarp on top of it, man. They wanted it tarp. And I asked three, four times, like, why do it gotta be tarp, man? They got a whole big pile of us sitting outside. Of course, they keep some in the shed right there as well. So, but uh, y'all know that my thing, gang. I don't do no tarping. If I'm looking at this shit sitting outside, excuse my French. Of course, and you know it's supposed to rain. I don't know if y'all can see the skies, but um, we got seven, eight, ten days of rain, and y'all load me up with some stuff that's sitting outside. For me to tarp it, get down there. Nine times out of ten, they gonna sit it back outside as well. I'm trying to get my back screen to light back up, man. Hold on, y'all. Y'all see we got that boy Antoine down here, man. We got A&A Carrier. The boy got the big box on the back, man. Little old work, man. Hey, you folks talking about, man? Ain't no hard work, man. Just hot out here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't no hard work, easy money. All the reason to sweat, cause you're hot. That's all it is, man. Good, good humidity and, and, and heat, man. Hey, man. That's what it is, man. No hard work. You got this box. This is a 10,000 pound box, man. So we're going to slide. We're going to the same facility. So we're going to slide, man. I got to find that truck stop down here, guys. It's a truck stop. But I found that they'll be actually closer. So um, I will drop where we can go on and shut it down there, but I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I'm gonna go top all this fuel, man. We got done around the same time. So we finna head out, man. We truck trapping, baby. Y'all see what's going on. Whole lot of movement. Let's get it. Good morning, good morning, truck trappers and truck trappers, man. Of course, you know, we made it all the way to um, Lakeland. We drove all the way to the facility. See, you got that twin part in front of the yellow truck. So it's early in the morning, so I gotta get this thing gun tarp, man. But they say they gonna come on out and get me, so. Did what we slept at last night. <laughs> right in front of the, came all the way to the front door, man. So let me get this thing gun tarp, man, so we could go on. They say they gonna come on and unload me from right here. Of course, um, when we bring those boxes down here, they got a call and torn up to the top to unload him, so. They gonna get me from right here on the side of the road. So let me go on and get this thing on tarp, get the tarp rolled up, man. I'll get at y'all in a second, man. Here we go, here we go, gang. I don't know where Jet Helm, man. I tried to hit there we go. Got old Alicia Key got this thing on tarp, man. Got that boy Twan out here, man. Boy with his slides and his and his, and his bunny on, y'all. No hard work, man. No hard work, man. You know what I'm saying? No hard work, man. Yes, sir. It's lightweight. Lightweight shit, man. 
That's a 10,000 pound box, man. Of course, he's CDL, man. So he can go up as high as, as, high as his truck allow. So y'all yeah, know my next move, man. I'm finna go to this class so I can be able to tote this big old big shit. Oh, yeah. You got that thing locked down. You got the slime. You got the slime winches, too, man. That's a plus on these trailers. Yes, sir. Got that thing secured, y'all. So we out here. Down here at Morgan, man. Lake him. Yes, sir. This motherfucker right here, I'm you. This motherfucker, you're heavy to get. Like, this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She thick. Thick tart. Yes, sir. Why not a man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. So when they come grab me, man, we're going to. Lock back in on you. Show y'all what it is when they start unloading. They said they gonna get me outside of the road, man. So y'all hold tight. Hey, man. Yes, Shout sure. out to ENA Courier, man. Y'all see what it is. We working, baby. Let's get it. All right, here we go, gang. He initially told me he was gonna unload me from the side of the road, but he just came and weighed me up on um, the same slot they got to bring Antoine up at so uh, I'm gonna guess I'll pull on up here so he can unload me man I'll show y'all the unloading in a second man y'all hold tight yes sir here we go gang do where they got me at I'll see what's going on on the other side unloading me on the other side so and then when they bring me up top, so they gonna wait on that corner so he can get here, get one of them bays open for that box he got. So of course they just lay mine on the side over there. So they that's why they caught went on to call me up first. So we about to drop there, man, and see where next. Nine times out of ten, you know we got the dead head out of Florida. There's nothing never come out of Florida. We picked up this load. Well, not picked it up. We actually locked in on this load on a Friday, and um, I've been looking down here 500 miles radius from Lakeland ever since so nothing nothing on nothing not not this way man so we're gonna dig head back up man I'll holler at y'all in a minute man y'all hold tight baby we truck man, trap before I get my paperwork in another thing I wanted to point out gang another thing I wanted to point out y'all see what's going on with this man that shit going right outside man y'all see that why did I have to talk that Picked it up from my side, and it goes outside. That's why I say I started using my better judgment instead of asking the shippers, trying to be, you know, trying to be up front and fair. And, 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 and yeah, yeah, they, they required for it to be tart, man. This stuff is going outside along with the rest of it right here outside, just sitting. Outside, man, it's crazy. I asked them this. So, I'm done. Let me get my paperwork in, man. I'm get my paperwork so I get my load fat in the mass so I can get on to the next, man. Let's get it. That's all, folks.